Shalom, my brothers and my sisters, everybody in the world that is praising Yah. Let us keep praising Yah in a powerful, mighty way. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right, continuing on over here. Yeah. Chapter 8. The necessity of turning around while we are on earth. So, sounds like a good one. Let us, let us see it here. Uh, well, check it out. Okay, okay. So the ancient sermon attributed to Clement of Rome, right? First century AD, a true name version. Yeah. So traditionally known as the second letter of Clement to the Corinthians. This text is neither a letter nor necessarily by Clement. Whoa. It is a sermon on the subject of the believer's walk of righteousness. And the earliest to use New Testament citations as though they were scripture. Wow. In addition, there are citations from works that did not make the cut of the canonical rule, including perhaps the Gospel of Thomas and the Gospel of the Egyptians. This sermon is dated by scholars to date 1st century. Some date it as early as 70 A.D., Oh, since one of the manuscripts was bound in a codex with Clement to the Corinthians, the Epistle of Barnabas, and the teaching of the Twelve Didachi. So those are all very cool things. Well, I mean, I haven't read the Epistle of Barnabas all the way through yet. But there, and, and the Gospel of Thomas, I read. And the Gospel of Egyptian, I haven't read that one either. But, <laughs> so I read the Didachi, okay? And the teaching of the twelve. That one's really, really good. Okay, did you hear stuff? Because you're the one asking. I'm the one telling you. All right, hallelujah. So now I'm going to keep going with number eight. Just so you know, you know, brothers and sisters, where this, this is coming from. All right. So let us hear what, what it says and see how we could apply it to our lives. So the necessity of turning around while we are on earth. Sounds good. Mm. So as long as we are on earth, let us practice teshuva. Right. For we are as clay in the hand of the artificer. For as the potter, if he makes a vessel and it is distorted, or broken in his hands, he fashions it over again. But if before this he has cast it into the fiery furnace, he can no longer find any help for it. So, let us also, while we are in this world, turn with our whole heart away from the evil deeds we have done in the flesh, that we may be saved by the Master, while well, we still have an opportunity to turn around. Mm -hmm. Wally! The opportunity is not forever. That's the right. Is now. Yeah, we're in His hands of being molded right now. Hear His voice. Yep. Today, if you hear his voice. I almost done, almost done stuff. Okay. Hallelujah! But I, I feel you. For after we have gone out of the world, no further power of confessing or turning will belong to us there. See, that's what we're saying. So, brothers, <clears throat> by doing the will of the Father and keeping the flesh set apart, and observing the Torah of Yahuwah, we will obtain long enduring life. For the Master 
says in the good news the Sora, right? If you all have not kept what was small, who will commit great things to you? For I say to you that he who is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. Here is what he means. Keep the flesh set apart and the seal undefiled so that you all may receive long lasting life. Wow, very, very, very good. So, uplifting, wonderful times. Let us maintain and help each other be undefiled. Shalom, brothers and sisters.